hey guys welcome to another exciting tutorial in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can create this jumpy character animation inside after it so without any further ado let's get started okay guys i'm gonna start with a new composition and let's go with this jumpy character animation i'm gonna go with full HD resolution 24 frames per second and for the duration Let's go with the 10 second duration and I will go with background color black and I'm gonna hit OK. First up, I'm gonna add our text. So let's go to toolbar and select this type tool and let's open the character menu. If you don't see any character menu, you can go windows and here you can find this character menu. And I'm gonna use this uh, lemonade stand font. You guys can download this font from the link in the description. Okay. And I'm gonna type jumpy characters and as you can see if your anchor point is not in the middle you can press ctrl alt home on your keyboard it will reset the anchor point and then go to align tool you can find the align tool also in the uh, window menu okay and i'm gonna align it using the line tool you can also reduce the scale if you want direct this layer and press s on your keyboard and you can scale it down a little bit if you like and i'm gonna scale it down to maybe 95 now i will also add a background so i'm gonna right click new and press solid and i'm gonna call this bg for the background and before the color i will go with this green color you guys can copy this hex code and hit ok and i'm also gonna hit ok and this will create a background and i will drag this background layer below now let's start with the animating part and here we have this character and for to animate this we can go the uh, text animation properties so if you press this arrow and this will open the uh, text menu and here we can see animate option we can open this up and i'm gonna add rotation properties as well as the position properties so for the position let's go with x value 2 and for the y value i'm gonna give a uh, 20 okay this will add uh, extra 20 pixel for the text when we add the uh, wiggle expression okay and for the rotation i'm gonna give it three let's keep it three and we can change it later and now go to add here you can go to selector and select this wiggly transform and i'm gonna select this this will add wiggle expression to the text and i'm gonna open this figure sector one this will give a lot of properties here i'm gonna play with few properties especially with the bigger second i'm gonna give bigger second uh maybe four let's see if you press spacebar as you can see we have this nice bigger uh, characters i'm gonna go to three second mark and press n on my keyboard to in the comp here and we can also change the based on two words if you have a lot of words you can choose this words option but i will go with uh, characters okay and as you can see now we can also reduce and increase the coloration uh, coloration means that if you uh, reduce this value as you can see every character have a different random wiggle if you increase this all the characters have the same wiggle but we don't need that so i'm gonna reduce this value to maybe around uh, 30 something like that should work okay you can also play with the uh, position x value okay i recommend you guys to just play with these settings uh, you can also just increase the rotation however you like and we can also just go to this mood option and select this subtract this will give us that stop motion effect if you like that this is really cool effect and i recommend you guys to just play with this uh, mod option i think the wiggle is a little bit extreme right now so i'm gonna reduce the wiggle to maybe around two let's see no maybe three okay that looks good and i'm gonna just close this up and we can also add some texture to the background so i'm gonna add a new solid right click new solid and i'm gonna call this texture and let's go with these settings and i'm gonna hit ok and go to effect and preset and search for fractal noise and i'm gonna double click this will add the fractal noise effect and i will go to effect control and here we can increase the contrast to maybe around 500 okay and then and i'm gonna also increase the brightness around let's give it 130 and i will increase the 
contrast even more so we can get this hard fractal effect okay it looks good and i'm gonna set the blend mode to darker this will uh, only keep the dark values okay and it will remove the white values now you can just add a tint effect so i'm gonna go to effect and preset and search for tint and double click set this map black to this green color and you can just press t to reduce the opacity something like that this will give us that nice looking grungy effect i will keep it 95 and press the space bar as you can see it's not animated we can animate it using go to uh, evolution option and here we can tick this cycle evolution and here i will set the random seed uh, we can just add a expression so i'm gonna press auto on my keyboard and click on this random seed stopwatch icon this will open the expression properties and i'm gonna type time multiple by four press the space bar as you can see this will give us every frame a random value as you can see looks pretty cool that's basically it for this effect i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have any question let me know as always thank you so much for the patreon supporters and i will see you guys in the next tutorial have a great day